Dr. Mayeshwari, Assistant Medical Director, Garbagudi IVF Center. So today the topic of discussion is difference between IVF and ICSI. So in day-to-day -day practice, when we see uh, so many patients, everyone will come and ask, ma'am, are you going to do ICSI or are you going to do IVF? So today I'll be discussing and explaining to you the difference between the two procedures. So first, if we see IVF is the initial uh, method which we were using in IVF treatment. So IVF means in vitro fertilization. So here what we do, the procedure of collecting the egg still the, that procedure is same for both IVF and ICSI. So normally in the IVF, what we do is on day two or day three of the cycle, we do the scan, check the hormonal values and give injections for 10 to 12 days. Once all the follicles are growing and they attain a good size, under anesthesia, we extract all the eggs. Once the eggs are extracted, we will check under microscope like how they are. So till this procedure, it is same for both IVF or ICSI. So in the first step, in the first treatment, the older one, that is IVF, here what we do, once we get the egg, we put it in a dish and we put the sperms in the same dish and we will keep it in the incubators for both to mix and grow together. We grow them in the lab, in the incubators for three days and every day we'll monitor how they are dividing, how is their quality and on the third day we'll see how many embryos are formed, how many cells are there and what is their quality. Depending upon their number and quality, we might grow them for another two days. That is day five embryos, we call it as blastocyst. Here we are not manipulating anything. We will collect the egg, we'll collect the sperms and we will put them in one dish and grow it for three to five days. This is called as IVF. The second one is called as ICSI. This is called as intracytoplasmic sperm insemination. So here what we do is, once the eggs are obtained, so we will remove all the cells, outer layer of the eggs. So many cells will be there, we will remove those cells and we'll see whether the, sperm, whether the eggs are mature, immature and what is the quality of the eggs. So detailed examination of the eggs will be done and their quality will be assessed. So under microscopic resolution with so many magnified lenses, we will select the sperms, good sperms, and we directly under our guidance, we keep the egg and inject the sperms inside the egg. And we grow them for three to five days inside the lab. So here we can assess the quality better. And also under our supervision, directly we are going to inject the sperms inside the egg. So this procedure is called as ICSI. It is advanced and it requires a very good embryologist. It requires very good machines and also very good incubators. So definitely the success rates are little bit more with ICSI compared to IVF. So ICSI we can do when the sperms count are very less or especially in the males where the semen count is less than 5 million as well as this we call it as a term called azospermia where the sperms are not seen but by doing simple surgical procedure we can extract the sperms from the testis and we can use them for IVF treatment. So when the sperm counts are very less, we cannot do IVF treatment. In those cases, we have to do for ICSI because very few sperms are there. Under the guidance, we will inject those sperms into the egg. So the success rate is almost similar. So in the modern days, majority of the times we are going for ICSI only, especially when the male factor is there. So when the semen parameters are very bad, ICSI is the best treatment in infertility. So if you want to know more about IVF related treatments, you can subscribe our channel, press the like button, or you can take appointment and consult us. Thank you.